Hi there, I'm Amanda Castor with Material Girl Quilts, and this is week four of the Snowfall Sew Along. If you're just now finding us, what we're doing is making this snowfall quilt behind me, and it's made using a feathered star quilt block. So what we've done so far is pieced our corner units and our side units for the blocks, and what we're gonna do today is piece the center unit and then put this block all together. So let's go ahead and get started on the center unit. What you need to do for that is you will have your um, background triangle, your large background triangle, and then four of these accent snowflake fabrics that what you will do is place them right sides together on each corner of your background square. And you will draw on the diagonals on the back of these squares and then what you're going to do is sew directly on that drawn line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, now once you have sewn on the diagonal of all four of these squares, you're going to trim off one quarter of an inch beyond the seam here that you just sewn. So I'm just going to use my scissors and trim those off. And then you will press towards the dark, um, towards this accent fabric for your snowflake. So I'll go do that now. Okay, now that our center blocks are complete and the fabric is pressed out towards the triangles, it's time to lay each of the block units out as shown in the diagram and get it sewn together. Before we do that though, I would like to state that our goal in this is not perfection. If you look at any of the blocks I've completed for my snowfall quilts, none of them are absolutely perfect. There's a lot of points that aren't lined up, but overall it's still a beautiful block and still a beautiful quilt. So please just keep that in mind, don't get too frustrated, and we're going to all together take a deep breath and get this block sewn together. So the first step is sewing the, the sections into rows. Um, it'll be three different rows to make up the quilt block. So I'm going to start with this um, row closest to me, and what we'll do is we'll take the corner unit and lay it um, right sides together on top of this side unit. And what you're going to do is you have to tuck this loose piece of the side unit. You need to tuck that out of the way and you will sew this entire seam here along this edge. So I'm going to pin this now. And get it sewn and I think it's also can be helpful to go ahead and pin this um, loose section to the other side of the block so that you don't accidentally sew it sew it down when you're not wanting to there's my other pin okay so I will sew this now Okay, so now that we have um, those two sections sewn together, I'm going to go ahead and press it towards this um, side unit here. So I'll go press that now. Okay, so that is nice and pressed, and now you see we still have this um, section of the side unit that is open. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete this partial seam. So you will flip it right sides together line up the rest of that triangle with your corner unit here and then sew a quarter of an inch seam right there. Okay, so now that, that we finished that partial seam here and we're gonna press it towards the triangle of the background fabric, um, just like we had started. And as you can see, these points are close, but no, they're not ab absolutely perfect, but I'm okay with that. So we'll, we'll press towards that background fabric uh, triangle, and then the next thing we do is we sew the 
next corner unit on in the same way. So we'll tuck this piece of the side unit back and pin and sew along this side here. Okay, so I have sewn the corner unit on there and I just need to do like we did before and close up this partial seam. And once we get um, that done, then this first row will be complete. And then what you'll do for your middle row is just, you know, fold these right sides together, sew along this seam here, and do the same for this side, and then sew um, your last row of the block, and we'll be back to put it all together. Okay, so now that we have all three rows within the block sewn together, it's time to complete the block. So what you'll do is tuck away um, from this center row here, tuck these piece, loose pieces back, and lay your um, end row right sides together, and sew along this seam here, and pin it um, where the blocks meet up, and then also along the way, it's probably a good idea to pin a few, you know, add a few more pins along the way. You'll sew this entire seam here, and then when you're done with that, you will finish the partial seams just like you did when you sewed um, your rows together. So we'll go ahead and do that next. And remember, when you're pressing your seams in this block, starch can be your friend and help get those seams nice and flat. Okay, now we've done it. We've sewn all thro three rows of the blocks together and finished up our partial seams, and our block is now complete. Is mine perfect? Far from it but it's still a pretty awesome block and it's one I'd be proud to hang in my home or gift to a friend. So your homework this week is to finish all of your blocks, whether you're doing the full size quilt like this blue and white one here and make all four blocks or if you're just doing the one block quilt like the red and white one, get that block finished. Tag me on social media, Instagram or Facebook at Material Girl Quilts or you can email me photos if you're not on social media at amanda at materialgirlquilts.com and you can win um, this week's giveaway. And for this week, we have some great prizes. We have this fun Aurifil thread um, set, these, this um, template set for some small piecing, another stiletto by um, my friend Bev McCullough, this cute little um, cutting mat by Lori Holt, a fun mad seamstress zippy pouch, and this modern quilts uh, date keeper. So um, again, share your progress with me on social media or email me photos and you for a chance to win this giveaway. And here is a look at who won last week's giveaway. Thank you so much for sewing along with me. Now next week what we're going to do is work on the sashing and the cornerstones and finishing up the quilt top. I can't wait to see you then. Thanks so much for watching.